glass hair, shiny hair. Here are simple steps within minutes that you can try too. I've just stepped out of the shower and we're ready to get the ball rolling. But first things first, which products did I use for my hair, hair wash? I use this wonderful product by Futira and it's a anti-hair wash shampoo and after that I use a L'Oreal conditioner. I'm very particular about my shampoo. I do like to use quality shampoo. However, for my conditioner, as I just only just dab a little on the ends, any generic brand from the supermarket will do for me. And okay, let's get it started. <laughs> okay, and so you can see my hair is really long. It took me years to grow it out from a bob. And I always use a, this is a wet brush, a wet brush. So I can use a wet brush to comb it before I dry it. And, or I will use a white tooth comb, whichever I have um, with me. Cause I do live in a few homes and I just, whatever I have in that home, I will use sometimes, yeah. So we just brush the hair gently, not too harsh. Wet hair is very fragile. And you can see like it's so long, right? <laughs> okay, and I recently just cut my fringe because I wanted a change. And it literally took 10 years off. Okay, so what's the next product we're gonna use is I like because I do have a bit of hair fall issues. You know, as especially when we're mature and we're, you know, in our 40s and beyond, I am 50 and there are certain spots that need a little bit of treatment. This is a, this is a uh, anti-hair thinning tonic. And as you can see, I have a little bit of like, small patches here. So I just put some there and some here. And this is wonderful stuff. This one is from the salon. Okay, and I also like to put a little bit just on the back of the scalp here. Okay, because that's where a lot of tension is. You tie your hair, etc. etc. Okay, so just gently massage it in and it will prevent hair fall or hair loss and help regenerate new hair growth. That's wonderful stuff. And um for the ends, I will be using this smooth setter. I don't need a lot. I don't like very greasy like ends. You know, I like my hair fresh all the time. And I wash, I do wash my hair um, every alternate day. And sometimes up to three days if it's uh, very dry and cold weather. And then if it's humid weather when I'm back in Asia, sometimes even every day because we get sweaty, right? And I, I'm very particular about greasy hair and smelly hair. So yeah, so just gently rub on the ends. Okay. And like all good, you know, having healthy hair, it does start from within. So I do pop a few supplements. This one's by Black Moss, but you can choose any generic brand from the, um, you know, the pharmacy. This is a hair, skin and nails supplement, which I take daily and it has been the best supplement so far. I've been using it for over 10 years. Okay, and next up is, I'm just gonna air dry my hair first because it's really long and it's kind of thick. I'll air dry my hair first before we go to the next step. So let's have a look. Okay, so it's been like just a couple of minutes. I've air dried my hair, it's semi dry. And I'm going to proceed with using a ceramic curling brush. It is wonderful product to use this brush. Um, I can't remember the name. Oh, there it is. Oh no, it just says super light. Okay. I can't remember. 
the name, the brand of this brush, but it does help with straightening the hair and making it really, really soft, okay? And that's the plan we want, smooth, soft hair. So let's get started with the next step, hair dryer and the curling brush. finished with the curling brush and as you can see my hair is not fully dry that's the secret I don't like to fully dry my hair um, because you know the, the atmosphere is really already so dry and um, this leaves a little bit of moisture in the hair just to naturally naturally dry on its own okay now I'm giving it a quick brush and there's a final step couple of steps left and um, okay that's beautiful so nice and soft and smooth I love it I love having shiny hair and um, you know for me healthy shiny hair is always a bonus and I actually admire admire Demi Moore and her long lustrous <laughs> shiny glass hair okay so the next step i'm gonna put this this is a body and hair serum by new Serity. i've been using it also for over 10 years but there are a few others that you can in the um, market that you can get and i just use a dabble like that okay and i would i will spread it all over my hand first and i'll just gently just rush through it not too much because I don't, like I said, I don't like heavy, you know, hair and just a little bit will do. And just to give it an extra oomph, shine and nourishment, especially just the ends. When you have really long hair, the ends tend to get really dry and I do trim my hair every six months. It is time for a trim. You can see the ends are very uneven. And um, I do a root touch up every four to six weeks at DIY project, okay? And it's normally the natural color to my hair. So that's why you can see like, there's not much damage to the ends. Um, okay, and I always use, like to use a fine tooth comb just to brush it through. Look, it's so easy to, to just comb it through, right? So nice. And, uh, I wish you could feel it. Just like baby hair. I love it. Okay, and there you go. Beautiful, shiny glass hair. Okay, you can have a look. Let's see. You can see. Alright, there you go. And for the final step, I I'm I do love my hair perfume mist. This is by Coco Chanel. And uh, it always just adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi to the finishing touches. So there you go. Glass hair in simple steps within minutes. And if a 50 year old can have this kind of hair, texture, shine, you can do it too. So stay tuned to more beauty tips. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Do like and subscribe. Cheers, everyone. Have a good weekend. Bye.